Following his encounter and battle with RC and partners, Starscream had a scar on his right cheek for near the entirety of the second season until after regeneration. After losing his T-Cog in Operation, Bumblebee, Part 2, Starscream was unable to fly or used his built-in blasters. Unlike Bumblebee he has missiles on the side of his arms so he can still use them as his only weapon until regeneration. Starscream is the only main Decepticon from the first season to not have been seen during the finale. After Breakdown's demise, Starscream seems to have taken over the role as Bulkhead's rival and main enemy. Though there were signs of hatred between Bulkhead and Starscream even before Breakdown's demise. In Transformers Prime, the game, Starscream is the main boss of Bulkhead's story missions. Megatron and Starscream are the only characters to appear in every episode of the third season. Starscream always mentions killing Cliffjumper, until Miko ended it with bringing up Hardshell's death. She killed Hardshell and Starscream was surprised. Though Miko was only able to do so by using Wheeljack's ship, the Jackhammer, and not really be herself, unlike Starscream. He is also the first Decepticon to be shown not changing his ways, as Knockout, Megatron, and possibly Shockwave, decided to stop on their cause. This is rather ironic as he was the one who left the cause and went solo for almost a full year. In the sequel Robots in Disguise, other Decepticons who have also decided to not change their ways, despite their breakup by Megatron, are shown, such as Steeljaw. In Thirst, Starscream sets off a series of events that cost the Decepticons the entire war. By unleashing the plague the Decepticons lose the Insecticons and over half the Viacons prompting Megatron to speed up Project Predacon, which is scrapped after Predaking reveals his sentience, which prompts the Omega Lock reconstruction which brings Ratchet aboard the Nemesis who turns Predaking against them kills dozens more Viacons providing a distraction to allow Autobots to storm and claim the warship. His statements calling humans vermin is a similarity with his live-action counterpart, who called humans vermin pretty much every time he interacted with them. The movie version of Megatron calls them insects as well, but not to the degree his first lieutenant does. If picked for the multiplayer in the game version of the show, he will say, sometimes cowards survive, a reference to his live-action counterpart who said, cowards do survive, to Megatron in Revenge of the Fallen urging him to retreat. The line has become famous among fans. Starscream's jet mode is a jet that resembles a General Dynamics F-16 fighting Falcon. Some of Starscream's personality and physical attributes are shared by Steeljaw, the main antagonist of the sequel. Starscream was confirmed to appear in Season 3 of Transformers, Robots in Disguise by a video at the San Diego Comic Con. His appearance, with the exception of his face, is also different than how he appeared in Transformers Prime and closely resembles that of his G1 counterpart. The reason for this change is currently unknown. However, it's possible Starscream found a way to give himself an upgraded form, similar to Optimus Prime and Megatron, Galvatron, though this has yet to be confirmed. This is also noted by Fixit after he first meets Starscream, stating that his configuration does not match the visual references in database, and asking if he have been working out. According to Bumblebee, Starscream was previously believed to be dead, probably due to his last encounter with the Predacons, but survived, much to his surprise. In Transformers Prime, Starscream's appearance looks similar to his live-action movie counterpart except his face. Optimus believes Starscream is hard to kill, 